What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy L. Hit him, Mr. All Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, it's your boy Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. Peace out, great. Yeah, Street Certified News, man. Street Certified News. Shout out Big Bo. Shout out Walker. Chicago, Illinois during the 1980s and 90s was like many urban centers in America in decay. The city streets outside of an occasional corrupt cop would be mostly controlled through the numerous public housing projects that doubted the terrain. At the heart of it all, on the south side, some would say was the infamous Calumet building were following the takeover by the BDs in 1991, two brothers, Varney and Varma Volker, aka the BD twins, rose from humble beginnings to become drug kingpins, feared and respected across Chicago's South Side. Varney and Varma Volker were born identical twins on December 24th, 1971 in Chicago, Illinois. Self-described project babies, the Volker twins would grow up in the infamous Calumet building on the south side of Chicago in the heart of black disciple territory. Joining the gang at a very young age, the BD twins would rise up the ranks quickly. By the time they hit their teenage years, their names were already being whispered on the streets after developing a lucrative drug dealing operation, moving kilogram sized quantities of heroin and cocaine. In 1991, at only 20 years old, the older brother Varney would be incarcerated on drug charges, ultimately being sentenced to a 10 year bid. When Varney returned home, he would immediately jump back into his day to day duties with his brother, running a still growing drug empire. With Varney back on the streets, the BD twins would eventually work their way to purchasing the right to be the exclusive dealers of the Randolph Towers, paying a hefty tab for the right, reportedly as much as 80,000 a month to various black disciple leaders, a fact that we will have to come back to later. Given the nickname the Bentley twins, during the 90s and early 2000s, Varney and Varma Volker will become famous in the streets for their fleet of cars including Bentleys, Rolls Royces, and Porsches. Controlling their operation like a Fortune 500 company, the BD twins would by the 2000s have investments across the country, from nightclubs in Georgia to real estate in Illinois and Minnesota. And by the time the federal government caught up with the twins and other top black disciple leaders, feds would claim the twins, along with 49 other individuals, including acting King Marvell Thompson and Corey Evans, the man eventually charged with collecting that $80,000 a month tab, would bring in as much as $300,000 a day in drug proceeds from across the city. On May 12, 2004, after almost a six year investigation, the federal government would execute arrest warrants on the Volker twins along with around 42 members of the Black Disciple Street Organization, with the feds admitting that most of their case would be built on testimony from members of the organization attempting to lessen their own sentence. Although the BD twins would serve lengthy federal prison sentences for their part in that 2004 Black Disciple takedown, once out of jail, many in the streets were left to wonder, how did the twins get out before so many of their co-defendants? including men like Marvell Thompson, who although held a much higher position in the organization, had already been proven to have cooperated with the federal government. The BD twins once out of jail would seemingly go back to their old ways, flashing jewelry and luxury cars, not only on the streets of Chicago, but now on social media apps like Instagram and Facebook, thus rebranding the legacy of the BD twins, albeit a one-sided one. From being mentioned in rap songs to fathering some of Chicago's next rap stars, Varney and Varma Volker, up until this story, 
have only been saluted by those who mention them. However, after our complete research, it can now be said that the BD twins also cooperated with the federal government against Black Disciple members in that 2004 drug case. Originally outed by his former wife, Varney Volker and his brother would face a possible life sentence for their roles in the Black Disciple organization. In response to that, our research found that Varney Volker, the oldest brother by minutes of the BD twins, would testify in the trials of at least four men to secure their conviction on similar drug charges to his. In 2009, five years after being convicted of drug trafficking charges, defendants Corey Evans, Melvin Herbert, James Stewart, and Derek White would all be denied their appeals for a new trial. In all four cases, the presiding judges upheld the government convictions partly due to the testimony provided by Varney Volker. In the case of Corey Evans, Volker would testify to the quantity of the drug shipments moved through the Calumet buildings during a time frame between late 1999 and early 2000. This testimony would contradict Evans' attorney's own argument. In Evans' final ruling, the judge would directly mention Varney's testimony as proof that Evans was the one who collected the $80,000 a month payments for the Varney's brothers' drug business in the Randolph Towers. Although it is still unclear if the Volcker brothers actively worked together to provide information for the federal government or not, it is clear that at least the older brother Varney did testify during at least one of the trials and the information provided was then used to secure convictions for a number of black disciple leadership. Today, after many years in prison and in the streets, the BD twins work closely with Pastor Corey Brooks of New Beginnings Church and Project Hood, a community center located in the heart of Woodlawn, a neighborhood once controlled by the pair. Whether the cooperation of Varney and the convictions of many of his former associates, including boss Corey Evans, will taint the legacy of the BD twins or not, remains to be seen. When it comes to the streets, many pick and choose who they decide to label as rats. As for us at Street Certified News, this has been an in-depth look into the rise and eventual fall of the BD twins. Varney and Varma Volker. <laughs>